Hi, my name is Soas from Origin, and this is my basic champion guide to Renekton. Renekton is a pretty good champion in solo queue, even though I don't see it so much anymore. Um, he has a lot of burst, he's a strong laner overall, that have a lot of damage, especially with the Thunderlord. Uh, he's really good at setting up uh, ganks for his jungler since he have two dashes and a pretty good CC. He's also quite tanky as soon as he hit level 6, so he's good in duels, 2 versus 2 with junglers. Uh, he's really good at diving as well. It's pretty easy to dive from one, even that is full HP if your jungle comes and you have a slow push coming in. So he's overall a really good laner and a good solo queue. He don't scale too well into late game, so you probably want to push your advantage as much as possible. With Renekton for laning, uh, since you have one Q that that can push really fast, you wanna try to ding level two before your lane opponent, so you can start to slow push your wave and try to deny him as much CS as possible. If you're playing against a range hero, you wanna try to take E and try to chunk him maybe, or you can just play it safe and and then like just farm. Um, if you play against a melee champion, you probably want to take W, so you can, you can, the enemy top laner cannot really CS because you're gonna get chunked for too much. And you want to set, like, set up a slow push, try to delay him as much as you can, then let, let your lane push back and at this point, if the enemy top laner don't have his jungle around, you can set up a pretty good gank for your own jungler, so. For the laning phase, try to communicate as much as you can with your jungler and set up ganks, set up dives. And Renekton in team fight, you'll probably either try to flank if you're if they're not looking for you. Otherwise, you're probably gonna try to stack up your rage, wait a bit, and just start a team fight normally. Focus the front line, and at some point, like try to dash and, and CC either the, their AD or their AP if they don't have QSS or something like this. Because you, you have, with your items and Titanic Kydra, you can literally like one shot AP or AD carry. When you have Tiamat and you're playing against a melee champion, you can start it by dash if the guy is playing safe, then auto, then W, Tiamat to cancel your W, auto again, canceling the, the last one with the Tiamat. Then Q and then you can, if you wanna go full all in, put your R in the combo and just dash again into the guy if he's like trying to run away. Uh, it's a small tip for like all the mini matchups against range heroes. Not necessarily for Lighton, but when you play a uh, melee against a range, you're mostly gonna get poke early. So try to play as much as possible with the top bushes to not get it too hard and get all the CS that you need. For Renekton runes, I use Armor Pen Reds, MR Blues, Armor Yellows, and AD Queens. You can also go for some CDR Blues if you're playing against only one AP mid or something like this. Uh, it's pretty good for laning since you'll go to like 12.50 CDR. For the Renekton Masteries, I like to go 12, 18, 0. On the Cunning Tree, on the bottom, I rather go for the intelligence instead of the precision since precision got nerfed uh, some time ago I yeah, don't really think it's worth it to have only 3 armor pen and I'd rather go for 5 CDR straight since Relicton benefit a lot about CDR I like to go 18 and cunning due to the Thunderlord it's super easy to like dash on minion proc the Thunderlord with the double hit of W Q and, and back off so you have like a huge chunk of burst and it just really helps to, to trade and go back with the Renekton since he's a really strong laner and yeah Thunderlord help a lot more with the with the trades. On Renekton I will uh, max Q over W over E. Uh, if, especially if you go Thunderlord you have a lot of burst with the W. Um, starting with Q uh, then you take E level 2 it's if you're playing against a ranged champion. If you're playing against a melee champion, you will take W level 2 due to if the enemy top player wanna try to get last hit, you will probably chunk him to like half HP with the with your rage bar and using Q and W. Um, and if you're playing against range, you, you just take your E because you're never gonna use, be able to use your W against him. 
starting item versus AP as Renekton, you'll probably try to get Tiamat, uh, then go for the Spectre's Call and get uh, get your Spirit Visage going. Um, if you play against too many CCs, you want to go for Mercury's. If play against many slows, you probably want to go for Swiftness Boots. Finish your Titanic Hydra, then finish your Spirit Visage. And then see from there if you need armor or if you need Emma. If you still need more Emma, you wanna go for the the Mo of Mortilus. Uh, but I would probably recommend you to to go for Desmond Plate. Renekton versus AD. You wanna try to rush your Titanic Hydra as fast as possible. Then if you play against only one uh, AP in the enemy team, you probably wanna go for. Uh, Desmond plates if you're in equal game. If you're already snowballing your lane, you can go for Sterx Cage instead of Desmond plates. It's gonna give you a bit more of an advantage in 1v1s and stuff like this. If it's an equal game, you probably wanna go for Desmond plates and then see from there who's fed. If you if the enemy AD is fed, you're probably gonna go for more armor. If they have many APs, you wanna go for more MR and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide, make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolclass.com.